feels like you're watching a movie. Hey everyone, welcome back to Red Dead 2 today. So today we'll be doing some more missions, and I want to show you this pretty cool. You see that stable? That's a pretty cool stable right there. Ooh, look, a horse. Nice. Anywho, let's go ahead and play some more Red Dead today. I'm not too sure how far we're going to get to today in this game. So the next mission that we're going to be going to is, um, let's see here. It's either this one, right? Oh wait, my bad. <laughs> Keep pressing the wrong button, man. I think we're going to be doing these two today. So either one, I don't know. I guess we can go to the campsite here. Let's do that. So I'm going to put my marker all the way over there. So i got to head on down that way. Alright, so I'm here at my campsite here, so let's go ahead and go to this guy here. Let's see what he wants for me to do today. Okay, oil three. Okay. Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See you, Arthur. Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brains. Then you'll be a genius. Pretty cool. <laughs> All right, so what do we got to do now? Got to go up here. Sit down, Arthur. Oh, thanks. I'm trying to do my missions today. <laughs> yeah, I don't need to sit down. All right, let's talk to this guy or this person, I think. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? Can I ask you a favor? A fisher of oh, men. Uh, hmm. Okay. Funny. Would you I haven't done this one yet. I bet you this one is about guy. fishing. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you, and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Yeah, I thought I was going to do the oil mission, but I guess I'll do that one later. So we're going to go learn some fishing now. Let's go fishing. But first we have to get to Jack. He's way up there. And no, he's not Kratos' son. Nope. Just so you know, he's not Kratos' son. <laughs> Fishing with me. Fishing? Sure. sure. Told ya. It's about time that you started to earn your keep. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Oh, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Hosea made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Let's go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. All right, so now let's go on to the horse. Oh. All right, let's go. All right. on tight. Let's go so fishing. Kid no more. Though your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? I'm still a kid too, you know. Uh, I'm just at my you. age. <laughs> it's been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. 
cool. I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. All right. This looks as good a spot as any. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. You show me where, Uncle Arthur. I guess right here. All right, let's go to my fisher. Yeah, first time fishing first. today. So it's about time I learned some fishing. All right, hold tab. Oh yeah, we got some bait. I think fishing is like the boring thing in now, most games. <laughs> cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. All right, cool. That's it. Good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. You feel a hard tug. All right, this is cool. Bait, so yank hard to hook it. I'm just here fishing Did away. Bite, Uncle Got one, Jack. Is it a big one? You see him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Now, seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. It's kind of weird with the uh, mouse and keyboard uh, doing this. This is a great fishing spot. Don't jinx it, kid. All right. Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give him a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm going to pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. So yeah, let's try that again. Let's try again. Oops. All right, one more time. Yeah, this is going to take some time here. So come on. Oh boy. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. Yeah, I know. Boring as hell. But then, something happens. You can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit, wait, try not to work. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Hmm. Something's tugging at your rod, Uncle Arthur. Hey, look at this. Still missed. This I'm a terrible fisher. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such uh -oh. complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes. Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphan street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton. Agent Ross. Pinkerton Detective Agency. Seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Uh -huh, cool. You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. 
five thousand dollars for your head alone. Five thousand dollars? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh... Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already yep. heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> You enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Mm -hmm. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. Oh man. Yeah, that was intense. <laughs> it's getting late, Jack. Your mother will be worried. Let's head back. Let's go on. Well, that was pretty cool. <laughs> Bunch of sheep and deer. What does he mean Ooh, about that's that? cool. Is he in jail? Alright, oh, let's keep on going. We gotta go back to the campsite here. Yep. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you. Folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah. It was okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. All right, so we got this level complete today. Pretty cool, pretty awesome. And please don't forget to leave a like there in this video are. today How if you haven't done it yet already. Great, we got a fish, and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Not the luckiest. Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey. All right. You did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, um, Milton and, um... Uh, I don't remember the other fellow's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And, and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they right. you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing just yet. If she's trying to scare us into doing something stupid, we have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. Yeah, just stay calm.
All right, so we got that one done. All right, now let's go to our next mission here. Um, let's see here. I guess we can go up to, uh, let's see. Let's do this one down here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and head on down that way. All right, so we're getting close to our next part uh, here today. I'm trying to get to it. Yeah, traveling by on horse. We're almost there, so yeah, I'm trying to take my time to get there. Alright, let's see what this is. Okay. <clears throat> ah, well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides, <laughs> what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folk, <laughs> and your boy Shaw doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, eh? Huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please. Yeah? <laughs> nice. Hey, let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened <laughs> by me. Threatened cool. by you. Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And where are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Oh, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. All right, so I guess we got to wait till nighttime. That's cool. Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses. <laughs> Love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. Things <laughs> do through tonight. All right, then. Okay, this is going to be Charles? cool. I'm ready. I'm not sure what's going to happen yeah. here. I don't let's know. Let's go earn some money. So we're heading to Okay down there. Hey. All the horses untethered? I think so. Well, good. They should follow on behind us. Crack those reins, Arthur. Let's go. <laughs> Find a good spot, Wolfman. Alright. Yeah. This is gonna follow be cool. The There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. Yeah, the graphics at night time is pretty cool. I like it. I hit the pole. You're better, John Marston. For my folks' sake, you had your feet up the whole time playing sick and fondling that new scar that you're gonna buy at breakfast in the morning. Wagon can't take this. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close. 
gloves on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Go easy on them hard. I the wrong turn. My bad. Why do you have to speak so much? It's obsessing. Because I still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. Move out of the way, you stupid horse. I hit my own horse. <laughs> Whoops. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Shaw McGuire. And look at me now, in the gutter sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. All right. Mr. Marston, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire. Another train robbery. When she slows, order. And you? I don't make sure she slows. I still want to die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Here it comes. Feels like you're watching a movie. What's going on here? What's going on? Ooh, it took him out. Alright, so let's go back down. up here join us on board hey all right get on that train faster all yours captain go on ahead oh. everybody stay calm sure. ah. get shot don't help me go everything you got money value. oh man <sighs> yep a train robbery <laughs> Let's make this quick, people! Come on! We ain't leaving till this bag's full! Stop it for fifty-six! I ain't got nothing. You wanna have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? Please, please. What's the problem? Funny. Hey! Don't do this, Glenn. Just give it to him, Thomas, please! Okay, oh, man. okay. In the bag, God everything you got. Keep it coming, don't be shy. Hey, Black, you make me sick! These two seem to think we're playing games. On a count of three. Oh, damn it. Oh, Sick as bad as dead lady. I hate you, my goddamn face. <laughs> Let's just do what he says. Send us the bag. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the robbery. The fact is, no. You can go ahead and look for the baggage car. Reach out. Tough guy, huh? You sure about that? Quick, come on! <laughs> yeah, beat him up. Good job, Arthur. Good Money. job. Money. Uh, Well, not everything, just give him something. <laughs> I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. God damn it, Arthur. Okay. None of you folks. What is it? You alright? Build a baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? Oh, what a dumbass. Probably something in here, Arthur. Double here. 
Gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Pretty funny. Give some decent stuff. Oh. Oh. We're gonna have a right out look on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. I don't. And this racket's in there. Posh bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. When doing me bet, all right. I know, that's what's worrying. So we gotta take out all these cabinets, huh? All right. we should probably be going Searching now. for money. That's all they care about. Come on, we should get out of here. We'll take that. Oh, another pocket watch. Uh, I like those things. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Horse, Smith, get ready. You can't come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way, neither of you get killed. Oh, God man. Damn, There's a few more than torn up. Whoops. Okay. Let's deal with them. Alright, let's do another gunfight here. I won't tell you again. Come there they are! So we got all the stuff that we need. So where do I need to go to? Um, yep. So my guess is to. Escape, I guess. Yep. Escape. Okay, there we go. Keep running. Just keep on running. Oops. Okay, come on. Should be getting out of this here. Alright, any time now. Sorry about this, y'all. I'm trying to get out of this wanted area.
right, there we go, finally. Professionals in the outfit. <laughs> Shut up. Please, we made some money. Now, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real fig tank. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real <laughs> fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine. See if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. All right, so that's pretty much it on that one. So yeah, let's go on to our next little mission here today, because I think we have to go to all the way over here. I'm gonna try and do this one next here today. So we did a couple missions here today, guys. I think there should be plenty enough uh, for this video. So if you guys want to see more Red Dead 2 today, just let me know. And I want to say thank you for watching. See you later. Bye. <laughs>